Sorry, Link. We just woke Link up. These babies are crazy and they're never still enough to show you how sweet they are. And that's Ganondorf giving me lovins. Thank you. Sweet kisses. There's Pepper. Oh, you're giving me more lovins. Thank you, Ganondorf. Cap lovins, Pepper. Cap lovins. You lovins. Sweetheart. There's Aqua. Let's see how many kittens we can get purring. It's like spinning plates on a stick. Hi. Miss Link. Copper. Hi, Copper. Let me see your pretty face. Hi. Epona. Come on now, it's not nice to eat your sister. Don't kill each other now. Epona. Shine. And the little girl there attacking with lovins. Oh, it's the elusive Taylor Swift. Taylor. Be nice, guys. They're sisters and they fight like sisters, too. Here's Taylor. Wake up, Taylor. Wake up, Taylor Swift. All right, we, we didn't do that because we're corny. Um, Taylor, we named her Taylor because of her tail. It's a bundle of kittens. I can't even find their tails in them. Big pile of kittens. Okay, so this is Taylor's tail. And it's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of like, it was kind of corkscrewy when we first got her. But she's growing and it's gotten, that, that length right here has grown since we got her in the last month or so. And I don't know if you can really see, it's kind of hard to see what's going on here, but her bone, the bone in her tail is wrapped around in, in a little curly cue down there. And it doesn't, hi sweetie, I'm giving me lovin's. He's just sitting there with his mouth on me. He's not even. <laughs> he's not even trying to bite me. He's just grabbing me. Yeah, I can't. I can't get this on camera. I mean, there's just no way to. It's really kind of weird. This is the tip of her tail right here, and then it goes around, and I don't know. It does some stuff. Anyway, she's got a funny tail, and it is stuck that way. It'll probably. It, it probably get a little bit longer as she grows, but it's not going to change like that unless for some reason they needed to cut it off or something. And I don't, I don't see that happening. No. So we we named her Taylor, and she is so fast. When they got sick, and we started having to uh, clean their eyes and stuff, and. And then we had to start giving them medicine. She was just, she would just run off. And she was so fast. And foster daddy was going to get her one day. And he said, she ran off. And he said, man, Taylor, you're swift. And we both just kind of stopped and looked at each other and busted out laughing because Taylor Swift. And, oh, he didn't, he didn't even mean to do that. It just kind of came out that way, so... And then she became known as the elusive Taylor Swift because she's very hard to find. <laughs> but now she comes and snuggles with me all the time. She comes and loves on us. And there's Ganondorf giving me some more lovin's. 
and black kitty cats get a bad name. What do you? What did you say? What did they say at the shelter? They're invisible. They're in. The, yeah, they they call they're these the last invisible ones to get cats. And they're the first ones to be euthanized. They're the last ones to get adopted and the first to be euthanized, is what he just said. And people, people don't want to adopt black cats. I don't know. I don't know if they just get overlooked because they don't have a lot of characteristics on them. Like, are you Epona? Yeah, that's Epona. Epona's got this little kind of reddish brown spot right on top of her head. And it's distinctive and it's cool. And Taylor Swift has her little curly Q tail. I don't know if it's because black cats don't have a lot of distinguishing marks and maybe they just don't look as interesting. I don't know, but I think they're gorgeous. They're sleek and black and just beautiful. And these are boys and they fight like boys too. They're total litter mates. But they are such sweet kitties. Okay, all right, fine. When they're not trying to eat each other, they're really sweet kitties. Let me see, Ganondorf keeps giving me lovin's. Is he gonna give me some lovin's, Pepper? Some pepper? Give me some lemons or pepper? He wants to play. But they really are. They're such sweet little boys. They come and love on me. And um, I think it's Pepper that comes and nuzzles my face. He walks up on my shoulders and pushes his face into my face and loves on me and licks me. And they both give sweet kisses. They're amazing kitty cats. There's absolutely no reason to overlook these guys. Hi. Hi. And he's holding me with his hands. His hands. See, these these cats are people at our house. Um, his paws and his claws don't go in me. He's not hurting me at all. He's there when they grab me with their mouth. They're not biting me at all. They're really sweet guys. Really, really sweet. Hello, Taylor. Hello, Taylor. My girly cue. Is that still all eight of them? One, two, three. Oh, God, you're so cute. That's Sunshine. Sunshine is... Uh, she's named Sunshine because she's got this beautiful, bright personality in... So she's sunshine. She's just amazing. She's so happy and friendly and loving. That's Epona. Epona talks a lot. Yes. Epona, Ganondorf, and Pepper like to talk to you. Pepper likes to talk to me, get my attention when I'm not loving on him enough. And is that really Link? No, you're Copper. Hi. Copper's one of the smallest kitties. Copper and Taylor are the two smallest in the litter. And he's kind of a quiet guy, but he still likes to get up here and snuggle with us and live on us. Hi. Alright, so where's. There's Link. He keeps trying to wake up Sunshine. I see her. Good dad. Some more lovins. Yeah, some more lovins. Gonna get some lovins. Missy Pona. So I talked to Tyann this week, and there is going to be a Palooza, an adoption event, Kitten Palooza, at the PetSmart and Broken Arrow here in town on July 2nd and that's what we're aiming for to get these guys adopted that day and I'm gonna be trying to take some more video of Pepper and Ganondorf our two black beauties here because I want everybody to know how amazing they are I don't want them to be the last to be adopted that breaks my heart they're the only they're the last they're, they're the ow he's trying to pick at my band-aid now sorry 
they're I think they're the first two completely black cats we've had. Foster Daddy? Yeah, they are. Everybody, all of the other black cats we've had have been black and white little um, tuxedo cats. So, I don't know if that has any... Maybe with, with the white on line, they're easier to adopt. I don't know. They are, we've never had problems with our, with our fosters getting adopted. So, I'm really hoping that these two don't get stuck in that category of being the last to be adopted. I don't like that. Um, when we were there last month, there were a litter of five or six black kittens, I think. And Mandy posted today one little black guy or girl, I think it was a boy, that was left in that front cage there at the shelter. And I'm pretty sure he's He's a leftover from that litter that was there a month ago when we were there. And I hate that. The longer they're in cages, the more depressed they get. They're not as friendly and social. They're going to be hiding in corners. They're not going to come out and try to love on you like this. And so it's going to make them less likely to be adopted because people don't think that they're very friendly. So that sucks. If you're in our area, go check out that black kitty cat in the lobby of Tulsa Animal Welfare because once they're stuck in a cage for a long time like that, it's just sad. They get depressed. They get really lonely and sad and depressed. Oh, look at Taylor loving on him. Oh, sweet baby. Hi. Hi. <laughs> kind of adorable. Tell it a little bit. Mm -hmm. You a movie star? Camera back on you. Mm. You see what you look like? Ooh. Look at those kitties. Look at that pretty, 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 pretty kitty. Look at that pretty kitty. I'm showing them themselves on there the little screen. I flipped it over. Okay. We'll see you later. Say thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.